In the latest update, Blood Strike has finally introduced the much-awaited 120 FOV option. In this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about it. I'll show you how to find the best FOV value for your device, and I'll also reveal a crucial setting related to FOV that pro players rarely talk about, so make sure to watch until the end. First, let's define what FOV is. FOV stands for Field of View and having the right FOV is crucial for enhancing your gameplay in Blood Strike. A low FOV value results in a tighter field of view, giving you a narrower perspective and potentially causing tunnel vision, as you'll see less of your surroundings. On the other hand, a high FOV value provides a wider field of view, which can be very helpful for spotting enemies. We'll discuss the pros and cons of both high and low FOV settings later. The ideal FOV setting really depends on your playstyle. Before we get into the best settings, it's important to understand one key point. With a high FOV value, your field of view becomes wider, but this also means your enemies will appear smaller. Take a look at this example. You might think that this isn't a big deal, but notice the difference. In the first clip, the enemy is hard to spot, while in the second clip, the enemy is clearly visible. This demonstrates why FOV settings can vary depending on different play styles. Another factor to consider is your screen size. It will affect your FOV differently than it might for someone else with the same play style. If you have a larger screen, setting your FOV below 75 is not very practical because enemies will already appear large enough for you to spot them. However, setting your FOV lower than 60 can put you at a considerable disadvantage compared to other players. So, if you're playing on a smaller screen, make sure not to go below 60 FOV. For those who play passively, having a high FOV value isn't particularly useful or effective. In fact, it could even put you at a disadvantage if you struggle to spot enemies from a distance. As I mentioned earlier, setting your FOV below 60 can cause you to miss important information, so I recommend keeping your FOV between 70 and 80. Now, let's talk about aggressive players. The ones who are always rushing in, using shotguns or aggressive SMGs like the P90. Unlike the passive players I just mentioned, aggressive players need to focus heavily on movement. Having a low FOV when dealing with highly mobile enemies can be incredibly frustrating. Since you won't need to spot enemies at long range as much, a high FOV won't disadvantage you as much as it would a passive player. For an aggressive playstyle, an FOV between 80 and 90 is ideal. Now, let's talk about the crucial settings I mentioned at the beginning of the video. In Blood Strike, there are actually two types of field of view settings. The independent setting provides a zoomed in and enlarged view when you aim. This makes enemies appear slightly closer, though they will be positioned farther from the center of your crosshair. On the other hand, the associated setting is the opposite of independent. With this option, enemies will look farther away but will be a bit closer to the center of your screen. Now, you might be wondering which one to choose. If you prefer a passive play style and engage in long-range gunfights, the independent setting is a better choice. It offers a clearer and closer view of your enemies, which is especially useful for players on smaller devices. The associated option is ideal for aggressive players, particularly those who thrive in close-range combat. This setting enhances flick shots and aim tracking because your view when aiming down sights ADS is wider, not close and narrow. Additionally, it provides better situational awareness of your surroundings due to the broader field of view. Both settings have their advantages and disadvantages, and the best choice ultimately depends on your personal preference and play style. So, which option would you go for? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this guide helpful, please hit the like button. For more tips on improving and becoming the best Blood Strike player, make sure to subscribe. If you have any specific topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, also let me know in the comments. Best of luck. I'm MDG Spart, stay legendary.